In the Fourier series, we also have the half range of the Fourier series. And this is called the half range Fourier sine series or half range Fourier cosine series. Before this, we have seen the Fourier series and the interval is from 0 until 2L. Or the interval is between from negative L until L. But in a Fourier series, we have an interval of 0 until L. This means that the interval is half of the normal Fourier series. From our function, we can come out a Fourier series depends on what we want to see. For example, we want to make it a Fourier sine series. Therefore, the fx is an odd function if we want to use it as a Fourier sine series. But if we want to make a Fourier cosine series, so we have to make our fx is an even function. From here, we know that if fx, if we want to have a Fourier sine series, therefore, our a0 and an is equals to 0. While bn, as usual, bn is equals to 2 over l from 0 until l fx sine n pi x over l dx. And for a cosine series, our a naught, as usual, equals to 2 over L, 0 until L, fx, dx. And our a n is equals to 2 over L, fx, cos n pi x over L, dx, from 0 until L. And our b n is equals to 0. Okay, now let's look at this example. Let's say we have fx equals to x and our interval is from 0 until pi. And we want to find the Fourier cosine series. Before this, we know that fx equals to x is an odd. But in this case, we cannot say that this is an odd function yet because our interval given here is only half. Okay, from 0 until L. And we also want to find the Fourier cosine series. We want to expand Fx in a Fourier cosine series. Therefore, we have to make our function Fx here to be an even function. Because in Fourier cosine series, if Fx is even, then we can get the Fourier cosine series. But if our Fx is an odd, we can get for a sine series in the sine term okay let's look at the graph of this function so we have fx equals to x is a straight line and from 0 until pi here and to find for a cosine series we have to make our fx to be an even function to be an even function this function have to be symmetrical about the y-axis. Therefore, the expansion of this graph is from 0 until negative pi. Now, we have an even function. Therefore, if we have even function, we know that bn is equals to 0. And our a naught is equals to 2 over l from 0 until l fx dx. Therefore, 2 over pi, fx equals to x dx from 0 until pi. So, if we integrate this, we will get pi. Same goes with our a n. a n equals to 2 over l, fx cos n pi x over l dx. And our interval is from 0 until l. By substituting our L and our Fx, 2 over pi, Fx is x, cos n pi x over pi dx from 0 until pi. So if we integrate this, we have to use the by pi integration. So we will get 
2 over pi x and if, if we simplify and substitute our limit here okay what i did was i just substitute back pi into this function and zero and then we will get sine n pi we know that sine n pi is equals to zero cos n pi is equals to negative one power of n or you can leave it just like that cos n pi and when we substitute zero into x so zero multiplied by some by sine zero equals to zero and cos zero is equals to one sorry i miss one over n here one over n squared okay so if we simplify this two over pi cos n pi over n squared plus one over n squared so or two over n squared pi cos n pi minus one sorry so minus n plus so we get minus and then we have to substitute back again into our fx for Fourier cosine series we have fx equals to a naught over 2 plus summation of a n cos n pi x over l and if we substitute our a naught our a naught is pi over 2 plus and this is from 1 until infinity summation of a n and our a n is 2 over n squared pi cos pi minus 1 and multiply with cos n x now let's look at for the same example of fx is equals to x where the interval is from 0 until pi to find Fourier sine series to find Fourier sine series we know that fx should be an odd function so to be an odd function it has to be symmetrical about the origin therefore the extension is just like this and our interval is from pi until negative pi to find Fourier sine series we want to find in sine term and the function should be an odd function fx should be an odd function to be an odd function a naught is equals to zero and a n is also equals to zero so we just need to find b n where our b n is equals to 2 over l fx sine n pi x over l dx and the interval is from 0 until l so let's do this let's find our bn here and bn equals to 2 over pi our fx x sine n x dx from 0 until pi again since we have a algebraic function and a trigonometric function so we have to use by part okay so we have to select u our u here is x and we differentiate x get 1 until 0 and our dv here is sine n x if we integrate sine we will get negative cos n x over n and we if we integrate negative cos n x over n we will get negative sine n x over n squared and then we cross them so we will multiply this positive and negative so 2 over pi x multiplied by negative cos so negative x cos n x over n and 1 multiplied by negative and negative so should be plus sine n x over n squared and our interval is from 0 until pi and we will just substitute them back so first we substitute pi into x negative pi cos n pi over n plus sine n pi 
over n squared. And then we substitute 0 into x. So 0 multiplied by 1, 0. Sine 0 is also 0. So if we simplify this. Oh, sine and pi is also 0. The only thing left here is negative pi cos n pi over n. Or if you want to write cos n pi, we know that cos n pi is equal to negative 1 to the power of n. So pi pi we can pi divided by pi equals to 1. Therefore, we will have negative 2 times negative 1 power of n over n. So this is our bn. Our forest sine series is equals to expansion of bn sine n pi x over l starting from 1 until infinity therefore we have our bn is negative 2 divided by 1 power of n over n sine n pi x over pi which is n x so this is our Fourier sine series now let's do a recap if we have a half range and we want to expand into cosine or sine for a for a cosine or for a sine series to use in cosine we will have a naught and a n whereas b n is equals to zero in for a sine series our a naught and a n is equals to zero then you have to find bn and then again we will substitute back into our forest series which is a naught over 2 plus expansion of a n cos n pi x over l plus sine n pi x over l starting from 1 until infinity we still use this forest sign series in half range but we have to identify if our half range is an odd or even function.